All right, things got a little spicy to say the least on last night's episode of Big Brother Canada. Take a look. By a unanimous vote. Victoria, you have been evicted from the Big Brother Canada house. Please gather your things and say your goodbyes. Okay. Ooh, snap! All-star returnee. I've never said that as a word. Returnee, Spicy V. Oh, but it rhymes. Was sent to the jury house after one of the most brutal votes in the show's history. And, of course, we are excited to have her here on TMS this morning. Spicy. There is so much to get to. Okay, we got to begin with Anthony. You both got another chance to play this game. Oh, my gosh. And we're the only two returning players. What do you think caused the rift in your relationship? Oh, my God. I really have no idea where it came from. Like, we were both so excited to get a second shot at the game. Um, so, you know, night one, we agreed we would kind of have each other's backs and work together. And that's exactly what I did. I chose my side of the house, made my alliances, and protected him along the way. And then, you know, the time came where he was in power to stab me in the back. And he did. And I think it's because he was scared to lose to me. And I think we just got down to such low numbers that when he looked around the room, he realized that I was the biggest, like, stopper to him winning the game. So he took his shot, and I am disappointed. Well, listen, you certainly lived up to your nickname. Things got uh, a little spicy in your final speech to the house guests. As a matter of fact, you called Anthony trash. Uh, do you think, Spicy V, that you will ever be able to forgive him? And was he truly the one uh, you wanted to take to the end? Um, 100% that he was the one I was going to take to the end. There's no doubt in my mind that I thought it was going to be iconic to have the two all-stars sitting in the end together. Like, I thought the legacy of that was more than anything and it's actually something I thought about every single day is how can we get there so for him to turn his back on me like I'm shocked and um, yeah like I just don't know why like he did that and as far as forgiving him playing the game the second time I think I have a better understanding that it is a game you have to do what you have to do to win but on a personal level I don't know if I will ever be able to forgive that he was the one that like ended my game like that like that that's perfect Personal, baby. Mm. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, there are four players left in the game. Who do you believe is the most likely to win? Oh my God, I'm, I hate that I have to say probably Anthony. People are just, they're scared of him. They want to work with him. They don't like to like say things to him that upset him. I think they like, I just want to work with him, but also Bailey. Like, she's playing such a good game. She's winning comps when she needs to. She's playing, like, a real, authentic, loyal game, which is really um, impressive and good to do in the Big Brother Canada house because then that way, don't really, that way people don't really have things to throw at you or, you know, to get you in trouble. And I think she's been playing, like, a really good game in that sense of just being herself and, you know, going through it in the best way she knows how. And I'm proud of her, and I'm rooting for her. All right, well, we will all find out soon as the final three episodes of Big Brother Canada air Sunday and Tuesday before the big 90-minute finale coming up on Wednesday right here on Global and, of course, on Stack TV. Spicy V, good to see you this morning, and thank you so much for joining thank us you. here on TMS.